Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and happy Wednesday, everyone. Happy Hump Day. So, today has been a cold, wet day. I had my doctor's appointment this afternoon, and they called me a couple hours before the appointment and asked if I could come in early, which is always nice. And I really like my doctor. He takes his time with you, and he's the provost at the um, School of Medicine out here. And they just needed him, to, or he needed me to come in early so that he could make it to a meeting he had to go to without cutting my appointment short. So, and it was just a simple one. We went over my meds and any changes and, you know, what labs we need to do, which Friday I will go and get labs done. And because the med there's a shot that I take once a week, and so we like the labs done at the halfway point between, you know, on the halfway through the week, you know, at the shots that makes sense i'm not sure how to word right now so do that and then also you know like cholesterol levels and things like that they want to check you know when you're do fasting levels on those so i'll go and get that done friday and and so far i've been working on ponytail holder scrunchies these are actually all of this is the I dropped one hang on a second got you on my selfie stick I'm fixing to use it as a tripod here in a minute. But all of these are the um the Mexico yarns. They're you know they're the acrylic Mexico yarns. So the solid color is the kitty yarn. And uh, what I do with that, because all of them, you know, they start with a single crochet, and then on the thinner yarns, I do a row of or round of um half double crochets, two in each, you know, two half doubles in each stitch from the previous one and then I'll do a third round of three I think it was three and I've only done two um double crochets these this one for whatever reason is not curling up as much as these are I probably just didn't get as many stitches on it these I just do the row of single and then a row of double with it two double crochets in each stitch and they work up fine. So I'm thinking about getting a collection of them, of, you know, just building up a stock of things so that I could maybe, I don't know, open an Etsy shop or do something. You know, I don't know that I'd ever get rich off of it, but at least, you know, I mean, five bucks is five bucks, you know. So we'll see what it is. Now, as far as the dilemma from yesterday's video, right now, the way the poll stands, the frog is got is coming in first. The diamond painting is coming in second, and the hooded cardigan is coming in third place, as far as what people are wanting. And some people voted multiple, you know, for multiple things. So I I counted every vote, and I will leave the voting open until um right before I start. Or I'll leave the voting open for the rest of today, and then when I get up in the morning, I'll start whatever, you know, the project. So, but today, now I know I'm on a yarn ban, I'm not allowed to buy yarn, but that doesn't mean I can't get other stuff. So let me set you down for just a second. Here, you're sitting on my couch. I got a yarn ball winder. I got it from... Amazon So I haven't set it up yet But I do have some of the the Chuck fuzz yarn that we can wind and test it with and I got in It's another tripod But it's like it's a it's a hinged gooseneck style So let's and it comes in pieces It comes in multiple pieces. Okay, it comes in three pieces. I mean, look at this. It is... That is metal and springs and... All kind of things. I'm going to get a finger stuck in it somehow. Okay, I can't remember how I closed it. I have already got myself stuck. Okay, this is that one. There we go. Okay, very close. And 
And by the way, it came with no instructions. So, okay, this has got to be easy enough. This part. Clamps on. Righty tidy lefty loosey. Just a little and then get that piece tightened well that was easy enough whoa okay and this piece for the phone which I'm It'll be definitely big enough for my phone. Now, I have the Samsung S10 Plus, and, because I like it big, and I have it in the, an OtterBox case, so that makes it even bigger. So, let's see. And it still fits. So, right now, what I'm going to do, oops, is I'm going to just, as I'm testing it out, that worked real well. That was smart. Oh, yeah. It's got to pop on there. Duh. Oh, look. Look how easy that is to... I mean, I'm going to be so easy to do overhead. On that. So, let's get my old Note 5. Just... Smack that in there. Oh, man, I love this thing. Let me look real quick how much I paid for that. Really, Sam, or Samsung, I'm wrong. Okay. And I'm sure you guys know, I know, shop on Amazon. You, are you worried about the Smiles program? It's smile.amazon.com where you can choose a charity and a percentage of your purchases go towards that charity. So it doesn't cost you anything more. So, but, um, I use a Google Chrome browser extension that automatically always redirects me from the regular Amazon to the smile.amazon.com so that because you have to be on the smile.amazon.com to get the, for the, to use the smile program. And basically it's the same price if you're on smile.com.amazon or if you're on Amazon. So. Look at my orders. And I just ordered this yesterday and it got here today already. It was $15.99. I paid 16 bucks for this thing. It's metal and springs and hinges and none of this loosey-goosey, you know, make everyone motion sick coil thing that I've been trying. My cheap diet soda. So there's that. That is awesome. Now, let's look at this yarn winder. Okay, so the yarn winder, I paid 30 bucks for it. So, quick assembly guide, and it comes with a little surprise for you from Craft Destiny, and it's got some stitch markers, um, some needle tip covers, a big stitch, you know, holder thing, um, the, where you stick your the holes in there to figure out the sizes, tape measure, and it's on a little pouch. That's kind of cool. Okay. And it comes in bubble wrap. So 
And let me tell you something here. My favorite way to do bubble wrap, none of this. No. Oh, come on. You got to twist it. It's all going at once. Sounds like someone popping their knuckles. I love it. I got popping knuckles. I got popping one. Okay. Two funky little pieces. I'm just going to send that goes in there and follow the little diagram. While I'm doing this, you guys, there is, um, who is it? Let me get, it is New Stitch A Day Knitting and Crochet Video Tutorials. They have, they announced a giveaway today, um, and it's, the giveaway is at knitiversity.com forward slash win. Although, I'm going to post a link down in the description below, because if you follow that link, I actually get extra entries. Um, but I mean, there's so much, there's yarn you can win. There are, uh, lifetime memberships to a yarnist magazine that they're, that they're creating. There's stitch markers, different things that they are, um, giving away. So, you know, we all love giveaways. So I'll post a link down, um, to the giveaway. But if you don't want to follow my link, then it's just knitiversity.com forward slash win. And again, it's my new stitch today, knitting and crochet video tutorials. And I'll post their link as well. So. Okay. To set at the wire arm, rotate the arm leftward and force it through the bump as shown to lock it in. Oh. Force it through the bump. Okay. This itty bitty little thing right here is the bump. There's no forcing. It just pops. Align the bobbin to its base as shown. Lock by pushing down and turning counterclockwise. There we go. Clamp the ball winder tightly to a sturdy table. Let's do this down. You can look at my cat's water fountain over there. Okay. That like that. Get my wing nut. my got my shirt on today and I got ink on it at the doctor's office I missed the waiting at the doctor's office not today I mean I, they had paperwork you know because I haven't been there in, in like almost two years they get the whole you know have you seen another doctor any change your medicine update your contact information whatnot I sat down I filled out first page of this like three or four pages that I've got to fill out and they already called my name so my blood pressure is good though. 114 over something. So. Okay, got that on there. Thread the yarn. Guess that would be the thread. Through the. I'm trying to find something. That could sit on the floor so that this is not. Oh, actually, I can sit in the. Thread the yarn through the wire arm. Through the wire arm. Come on, give me a better picture than that. go oh it just you can where's it okay through the wire arm and then tightly into the notch of the bobbin because that would be the notch be sure the yarns begin turning the handle on the ball wire clockwise to start winding while applying some tension on the thread okay so let's get the tension going oh that was a mistake already Oh. 
And I'm sure all you guys already have one, but this looks cool. Clockwise. Oh, okay. I'm in the box, not a good idea. It picked up a piece of the pink feather. My cats have a feather bow on their cat tree that they play with, and every day I sweep up pink feathers. And you would think that the thing would be empty by now, but no. But my little cake is going to have pink feather in it. Let's see if it will fit all of it in there before it collapses. Oh, get back in the box. You're white and fuzzy. I don't, yeah, and I've already got chuck fuzz going everywhere. to the end of it. What was that? Okay. Ha! <laughs> Slide the yarn ball out of the bobbin. Actually, let's take this and Pocket. Guys, look. Oh my God. I love this. This is probably the best 30 freaking dollars I've spent this year. 46 if you count this. Wow, dude. I'm just excited. Look at this, and it's firm, and it pulls from the center, and oh my god. And then, look, I got Chuck Fuzz on me already. You think you can see it there. It's on my pant legs already. And it fits in my bowl. Dude, I am so excited. You guys have no clue, no idea. I'm just... Beyond flipping tickled. Because I get tired of winding little balls and make little balls that go rolling everywhere. And I love these because you just pull from the center and they're so neat. And now instead of having to, you know, deal with yarn and that has yarn barf, and, I, and then, you know, I can make that. And it's just so neat. I'm just tickled. So freaking tickled. Yay! Okay, what's this? Welcome to the universe of craft destiny. We hope you enjoy your experience. Yes, I have. <laughs> like this. Now you're one of us. That's what it says. Now you're one of us. I have been assimilated. Okay, leave a review for your purchase and to be part of our community. Subscribing at craftdestiny.com. Oh, there's patterns and a testing program and discounts. Okay, I'm going to have to check it out. Check it out. And guys, this is not get it for a discount for leaving a review. I paid full price for this. I didn't even use my Amazon gift card that I have. I Because I'm saving that for a wire crate storage system thing. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm tickled. I'm going to have to sign up for that. They got a website. They got Facebook, Craft Destiny Co. Instagram, at Craft Destiny Co. So. So that is that. That is my excitement for today. Yay! I'm going to have fun with that. And, look. On the ceiling. You see that black thing up there? Mid, all the pink stars? That is my stud finder. It doesn't stick to me, so there's something wrong with it. But... I'm going to get the, that's the corner that the hammock chair is going to go in um, whenever I can convince David to come over here and help me get it set up. So, and did I, I showed you guys my clock. 
they're stickers. It came with a it came with a template, and you have a big big sheet of paper with the cutouts, and you just stick it up there. Or you tape it to the wall, make sure it's all white where you want it, and then you pull the stickers off the back of the stickers, and you put them in the holes, like did a little puzzle, like the you know kindergarten, or not even you know like a, a toddler puzzle. There, and you have a nice DIY clock. I got that from Amazon too. So. So that was my stuff for today. I think I got here. I'm gonna take you out of the kitchen with me real quick. Yeah, you, know, you can watch. Ooh, we're in the dark. I never turn those lights on. Or I do something, but I got something else in the mail today, and I can't remember what it is. Already. Oh, I got these pair of socks. I thought I was ordering toe socks. No, I ordered socks with toes on them. I'll still wear them. But I don't even think I paid 25 cents for them. So, you know, you really can't complain. And they're feet coverings. So that is it for today. Um, thanks for hanging out with me for my little um, exciting trip with the yarn winder and the new um phone mount so definitely if you if you like seeing me get all nerdy over yarn stuff you know go ahead and like and um, like this video subscribe to my channel share me out i am getting so close to um the thousand that you need for monetization i am at last count 657 so once i get to a thousand and then i get more watch hours and i can start getting monetized and as soon as i can get monetized that's when i'm going to do a giveaway and that would be is probably going to be a gift card um because you know a giveaway is expensive enough as it is and then having to do shipping on top of it and then what if you know you send something someone send someone the winner you know something that they already have or that they don't like and then at least if you do a giveaway then they can get what they want. And then, you know, some of these people that watch these channels, you know, they're into crafting stuff, but then maybe they're not into yarn crafting stuff. So if we do like a, an Amazon gift card or a Michaels or something like that, they could get the craft stuff that they like. Or if they're in a really bad spot, they can use that card to get something that they actually just need for their house. So that's what I want to do, but I got to wait till I'm at monetization because, you know, I'm a broke boy. I, I'm a broke boy that just spent $46 at Amazon, but... You know, I've been saving up for this and wanting this for quite a while. But um, the thing with the monetization, you know, that's nice. I'm not expecting to get rich on that. But, you know, every little bit helps. And you guys have been with me and helped me out for so much to get me there. You guys have no clue how much um, just having this community on YouTube has helped me. I am not that social of a person constantly. I am... I'm not antisocial. I am selectively social. I am technically what they call an ambivert. I'm not, I am, as I say, I'm not introvert or extrovert. I am both. I go back and forth. I'm all over the spectrum there for the, how much I like people. But I've been stuck on the introvert side of things for so long that I'm becoming a hermit. And going out and dealing with people in person, the whole concept of it just gives me anxiety because it's just exhausting. And just thinking about it is exhausting. And part of that is the depression. Part of this anxiety, you know, well, not part of it is that it's people. But so instead of me just isol not isolating, but just being alone and with myself and my cats and turning into the crazy cat guy and not interacting with people at all at least i'm interacting with you guys through youtube my therapist likes it um it's social interaction you know i'm getting on the lives and i'm talking to people and i'm emailing people outside of it and you know i actually there's one that's you know in my city that we're going to we're talking about meeting up you know for coffee or something you know, like i'm actually like looking like i might actually meet someone in real life you know 
instead of going out into the public and just pretending I can't talk so the people don't talk to me. So, you know, this whole community is good for me. It keeps me from being stagnant and it keeps me from just avoiding everything. And I am so thankful for you guys. So even if I have to, you know, eat cheap for the next, you know, several months until I get to monetization so that I can afford to do a gift card, I will because you, this, you guys are my, our lifesavers. You're, you're, this is a lot of times this is my group therapy. I'm even thinking about having a live stream. I was talking to um, mom number one, Noni, Noni May, about doing it on um, Friday. So I wanted to make sure at least one person would come if I did it. So anyway, this video is getting long enough. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Hi, I'm sitting out here at the bus stop, freezing my tail off. Waiting for the bus to come that is delayed an hour and a minute so far. It is drizzling, not quite enough for, to need an umbrella, but too much to not use it. And it's just cold. I'd rather, oh, I don't know, I've been sitting in the cold long enough that I'm starting to miss the heat. I am, yeah, I do miss Mexico. But I'm glad to be back home. David's coming over in a little bit to pick up some stuff that I got for him. I know he did message me and say he drove past me because he delivers mail in this area. And Amazon is notifying me that they are 10 stops away delivering a package, which would be my yarn winder. So anyway, I'm waiting for the bus to show up. I'll keep sitting here freezing.